In this video, I am going to talk about material UI checkbox component. So this component is called checkbox. So we can yeah, use this to like get user interest from different options. So to use this component, you just have to use the checkbox and it will import it from this material UI icons. Oh, it's not from material UI icons. It should be some material UI code checkbox. Actually, we have one icon with the same name. So Visual Studio Code imported it from the icon, but we need this one. And for this checkbox, if I just put it like it here, you don't need this. Then you can see that one checkbox is created here. You can give one props here, it's called checked. And if I give it as true, then you'll see that this is marked as checked. And I can't, um, since it's state, if I click on it here, it's not changing. So let me create one const checked set checked and i'm gonna use this use state true so this will use that is not defined so i need to use react dot use state and we can pass the value of checked here so if the value of checked is true then this checkbox will be set as true and if it is false then it will be set as false we can also give one on sense listener here and for this we can give one check sense we can create one function constant check sense Equal to suppose I'm getting the state and set so if I now click it here then you can see that we can sense the state of this checkbox so what I'm doing here so for on sense it will call this on check sense function and here we are sending the state of this check whereas as if it is true then we are sending it to false and if it is false we are sending it to true so we can just change the state of this checkbox also if i add here as disabled then it will change it to disabled suppose i remove this one and <clears throat> now it is not ticked or not checked even if i have marked it as disabled so we can also give it one property it's called default checked so if i now save it here then you can see that this is checked by default also if we don't have this disabled property then it's checked at the first time we can also change the color of the checkbox we have one property it's called color so if i give it as primary then it will take the primary color and we can change the size of this checkbox if i give it as small then it moves to small then let me copy it and if i give it as medium then this is the medium and if i give it as large then this is the large, large size. We also have one more property, it's called indeterminate. If I set it as indeterminate, then you can see that the type of this checkbox is sense. So it is not an tick mark, it's a like indeterminate some mark. So this is the basics of checkbox. You can just go through their checkbox uh guide they have like lots of different examples so you can also use custom icons and like you can sense 
that you can add one text and, and there are lots of different use cases of Segbox. So that's all for now. If you love this short video, please like and subscribe to my channel.